This is an overview of the HP 8753 Companion, a Linux program to augment the functionality of the Hewlett Packard 8753 Vector Network Analyzer. Primarily, the program can save and restore setup and calibration profiles and display, print and save plot data in several formats. The Linux computer is connected to the network analyzer over the GPIB, and so installation of the Linux GPIB driver is a prerequisite. An RPM package is available for Fedora Linux, however, a generic GNU Auto Tools build setup is used to install on other distributions such as the Raspberry Pi or Debian. One of the most critical and time-consuming setup operations is calibration. The program can quickly restore previously saved calibration and setup profiles. The calibration drop-down control is used to select a saved profile. Source parameters and setup and user added notes are displayed when the selection is made. The chosen setup and calibration data are sent to the analyzer when the restore button is pressed. The type of calibration, number of sample points and whether the source channels are coupled alter the amount of data that is sent. A note can be written to accompany the setup and calibration profile. This can aid in identifying the setup prior to restoration. To save the setup, type a name in the calibration edit box or select an existing profile to overwrite. When the save button is pressed, the learn string and calibration error correction vectors are extracted from the analyzer and saved to a database. The analyzer's state is recovered by selecting the saved profile and pressing the restore button. An unwanted profile is deleted by selecting it in the drop down box and pressing the delete button. The trace data displayed on the analyzer configuration settings and markers are extracted by pressing the Get Trace button at the top of the dialog box. When the traces are displayed on the HP 8753 Companion, a live marker is available when the mouse cursor is positioned between the Start and Stop stimulus values on either trace. Trace data may be saved in the database for subsequent recovery, printing or display. You may add a title that is displayed on the first plot and notes that are saved along with the traces. Select the Trace Radio button. Enter the trace profile name in the edit box or choose a trace profile to replace. Press the Save button to save or press the Delete button to delete the chosen trace. To recall saved traces, set the radio button to trace and use the drop down box to select the trace profile. Press recall to recover and display the saved trace data. The cursor can then be used to activate the live markers to interrogate the traces. Displayed plots may be printed, saved as images or as data. Press the Print button to print to a system printer. The print settings are saved between sessions. 
To save in PDF format, press the PDF button and choose a file name or accept the synthesized one. If one or more plots are Smith charts, a high resolution PDF is also saved along with the plot that is the analog of the screen display. PNG images may be saved by pressing the PNG button. CSV data is saved by selecting the data page and then pressing the CSV button. Press the S2P button to instruct the analyzer to take four complex S-parameter measurements and save them in the specified file in touchstone format. The PDF files are in scalable vector form and will contain one or more plots. The PNG files are in high resolution bitmap format. The high resolution Smith chart will also show the stimulus settings and any displayed markers. The grid will be resistance impedance or conductance susceptance dependent upon the option setting. Several options are available to change aspects of the displayed plots. Bezier interpolation is used on Smith and Polar plots when the Bezier spline option is checked. Bezier curves fitted between sample points gives a much smoother interpolation than the linear interpolation method used by the HP8753, which simply joins sample points with lines. Checking the Admittance and Susceptance Smith Grid option changes the Smith Grid format and the format of the live marker on Smith chart plots. The last option displays the actual stimulus and response values for the reference marker when delta markers are enabled. The HP8753 sets these to zero on its display by default. The behavior mimicked when this option is not checked. Press the Analyze Learn String button so that the program can perform a once-only probe of the learn string. This is needed to discover the location in the string of required data that is not available with other HPIB commands. The address of the HP8753 network analyzer is set on the GPIB page. Either the controller and device name can be used as defined in the Linux GPIB configuration file or the controller number and the HPIB address of the network analyzer may be specified. For the full code and build instructions please visit the project's GitHub page. I thank you for your interest and hope the project is of use to you.